Moses here from GuitarChimp.com. Today we're going to be checking out the Dream Sequence pedal by Hologram, and I'm going to be playing a Gibson Les Paul Custom in Triburst. Very pretty. Now this pedal has an awful lot going on on it, but it's all really easy to use even the first time you sit down with it. Uh, first off, it has shape up here, which is changing the shape of the sound you're getting, whether you want it to be short bursts in a square or you want it to have sort of that nice soft flow in and cut out. Uh, if you do want that, you can get some really neat sort of almost reverse sounding bits. Uh, if you have it in the more square wave, then you're just going to get that staccato sound, which is really cool for uh, essentially establishing a beat with just notes that you have. Uh, you also have the dry mix knob. Uh, the more you turn it up, not only does the clean sound that you're running through the pedal come through, but it also actually cuts some of the sound down of the pedal very little bit. Uh, there is a little switch here so that you can switch between uh, user presets, which you make yourself, there's factory presets, and then there's stuff that you can save as well. Uh, up here, there's a drive knob, which actually does add some grit to it. And as you turn that up, the LED indicators here actually go to more of a red instead of a yellowish green color. Uh, there's also a tone knob, pretty self-explanatory. Now, the two main things you're going to uh, be dealing with when you're messing with this pedal is this knob over here gives you all the subdivisions that you want to use in each of the presets. As it's rolling through each one of these sounds, you can choose how many times it is subdivided, which is super neat. You can get stuff going super fast on its own. You can get stuff super slow, some nice swells if you want. It also has a random setting, so it goes through all this modulation at random. There's a no shift, which is really cool. Nothing changes, but you can hold stuff on so that it just holds a nice clean note for you. I'm a big fan of that. And you can also have the octave up, the octave down, or both of those octaves on. All of the presets can be stored in each of these little spots here. Uh, it's super easy to use on off here. There's a hold button for when you want to hold out a note and a tap tempo so you can select on your own the tempo that this is going to roll through. I immediately thought this pedal was going to be really difficult to use, but it took me about 10 seconds to understand everything on it and be able to really switch through stuff to get exactly what I wanted without having to fiddle around too much. I'm a big fan.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I sure did, it was a whole lot of fun. I love that pedal. Uh, swing over to guitarchimp.com where you can see where that pedal lives, and maybe it could come and live with you at your house. Uh, also, give us a subscribe and a like, and show us to your friends and your family and your civic leaders, and possibly, if you could, uh, copy this link and send it to your congressman or woman and ask them to uh, distribute it to everyone in the US. We would greatly appreciate that. Cheers.